Well, folks, August came, August went, and it is now September. But I, I just want to say that summer is not actually over. Summer is not actually over until September 22nd, and that is actual fact, and I should actually check that fact. Uh -huh. September 22nd. September 22nd. Okay? It's high time I showed you my August sewing output. I am not going to call it makes because that creeps me out. I've got three maxi dresses to show you, each one in wax print hailing from the house of Mami Wata from my birthday fabric haul. Let's go! I love hot dogs. If it's summertime, I'ma have way more than one hot dog. I'ma have like three, four, five hot dogs a week. Like no questions asked. Maybe sometimes I'm putting a little relish on it. Maybe sometimes I'm putting a little rude red on it. Maybe sometimes I'm just having it plain. That's how I think of these dresses. They're all hot dogs with different condiments. I think about food a lot. Each of these dresses uses the same bodice with different skirts to change up the look and little bits and bobs here and there. Now, when I was thinking about making this dress, I decided to go about it the way that uh, I might envision a pattern envelope. So I've got my self-drafted bodice right here, and then I've got my three different looks. Widened A-lined skirt, two tiers attached to a half circle skirt, long half circle skirt with a little ruffle at the bottom, and some sleeve of my jigs. But you know what? I'm gonna show you all that. Let's get to some live action on this gal. For the first and simplest iteration of this dress, I attached a widened A-line floor length skirt to the bodice to make the most of this large scale print. I threw in a center front seam on the skirt because I wanted to play with mirrored pattern placement. Oh yes, my friends, I fully intended to morph those sweeping starry arcs into a portal to my private parts. I thought I might go strapless on this first one, but I'm glad I decided against that as this dress makes me so happy I want to jump around. And although I will rock a portal to my privates, I'm not into actual indecent exposure. These next two prints were picked out by my mom and dad who run my social media management team, Mom and Dad Inc. As a matter of fact, they've picked up a couple employees over this past month. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and my stepmother-in-law, who all want me to tell you to like and subscribe to my channel before proceeding with your enjoyment of this video. You just hit those little buttons right in the box below this video. You can even ring the bell if you want notifications on my future yammerings. Plug over. How I love these prints. I could not wait to cut into this orchid orange green yellow explosion. Now this wax print actually has some poly in it, which makes it wonderfully drapey on both the lengthwise and the crosswise grain, which meant I could go full boat maxi on this one. Maximum solutionist. To change up the vibe on my orchid explosion, I added a half circle skirt to my gathered bodice using my underbust measurement as my radius. And then I attached two gigantic gathered rectangular tiers beginning at mm, mid booty, cut on the crosswise grain to get the most mileage out of this print. Cool thing number 586 about wax print, it has a contrasting fun selvage that can be incorporated into your design. I use the selvage to highlight the gathers on my tiered panels and also to create my adjustable straps. Mmm, adjustable straps. A matter of controversy in the sewing world. Oh, that's right. Adjustable straps. Highly controversial. For some, it's, you got your body right here, you got your measurement, why not make a strap that equals that exact measurement? For others, it's, I want to go the extra mile. I'm team adjustable strap, cause you know what? Are your bits the same size? Depending on the time of the month, 
the position of the moon, how many hot dogs you might have eaten in a day. Mine aren't. I like a little wiggle room. Plus, they look so profesh. My goodness. My final August garment. And I, I can't believe I'm saying it's my final August garment. I sewed three dresses in August. August is my birthday month. I usually sew like three dresses a week in August. Oh, no way. I did sew some other things. Masks. All right, let's get to my third hot dog. But also, wear a mask, wash your hands, be kind. Roll videotape. Oh my goodness, I never would have picked this blue and purple print out for myself, but I am so glad my parents did. It is now one of my very favorite dresses. I love these colors so much. For this hot dog, I went with non-adjustable straps because sometimes I'm a hypocrite. Or maybe it's because I wanted ruffles with pom-pom trim that can sit up or drape down ever so romantically. In fact, I think draped down is maybe my favorite. For the skirt, I used the same half circle skirt trick, extending it to mid calf, then added a small but mighty gathered flounce to extend it to T length. I don't actually know where T length hems end scientifically. I always think of it as Audrey Hepburn length and really isn't Audrey Hepburn a wonderful definition for just about anything? Hot dog, I love summer dresses. Though I do feel like there's something I'm forgetting. Something that I was supposed to sew. Something out of this pink print. What was it? I mean, my dress is finished. I love it. Rob loves it. Oh. Yeah, I was supposed to make Rob some shorts. Well, okay, okay. Like I said, summer ain't over. Summer ain't over until like September 22nd. So I got some time, um, but I do uh, have to get cracking on that. All right, well, like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell for notifications if you want to see if I'm able to um, conquer my man's crotch. And who doesn't want to see that? I hope these dresses have inspired you to take a look at what's in your pattern stash and think of any little tweaks and bits and bobs that you can add to change up the vibe. Let me know if you'd like a video tutorial on creating your own gathered bodice. I'm gonna throw some suggestions up for you on the blog on patterns that you might be able to use to achieve these looks. See y'all in a hot minute. Looking good, and out.